to our earlier story, uh, the minority raising questions about government's position on the acquisition of the Sputnik V vaccines. And as I said earlier, I'll try to get through to Dr. Freer, uh, you, Freer, he joins us back on the telephone. He's the chair of Parliament's Select Committee on Health. No, good evening to you. Thank you for your time this evening. You can hear me. Yeah, good evening, my brother. Great. Now, the minority is saying that this transaction to procure the Sputnik V vaccine falls under what can be described as the economic transaction with the meaning as stated in Article 1815 of the 1992 Constitution. And it must have got, it should have necessarily gone through Parliament ratification and approval. Your reaction to this? Yeah, my brother. Uh, very good evening to your listeners. Um, <clears throat> basically, um, I think um, talking about that transaction being international or not, um, I, I don't know what information that they have uh, accessed, and for that matter, the term the transaction as international. Did they make any 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 proposition on that? The Supreme Court has made ruling on this issue on 1815, and therefore term transactions, major or minor, and that is subjective. And it's actually asked Parliament to go and make an adjustment on this position. And also, so I, I, don't, I have not listened to their press conference. I don't have any idea. Trust me, you called me on the line. Your line dropped, so I don't even know what they were talking about. That's why I needed you to let me know what well, were the questions you're raising that makes the transaction international. As a matter of fact, the reference you make to the Supreme Court ruling, they did that as well. The Honorable Aaron Idrisu, in, in making that particular point, made reference to that Supreme Court ruling and specifically quoted Article 1815 of the 192 Constitution, which actually per the definition of an international economic transaction as captured under there. The details of... What, what did he make of the position of the Supreme Court that says that um, you have a major transaction, you no, have a minor transaction, and then also the inners of, on the major transaction lies on the position of the Attorney General to state it as such, and then also told Parliament to go and make the necessary modification, and he's been in Parliament since 2000, and I'm sure probably he's um, two terms or three terms my senior, and they were told to make the necessary modifications. I don't know what Parliament has made about that. But like I said, um, just for national discussion, um, I, I, I am not privy to um, um, what is making it international. Um, I am privy to a fact that when they came to my committee, uh, we approved of the budget for them to go and purchase vaccines. Vaccines are not made in Ghana. Um, so obviously, this is not the first time that we are buying, buying vaccines. Um, we get anti-snick, we, we get several medications from the ministry procured, probably 70% of their medications from abroad. I have not seen when they've come for any such approval. Um, if, if, if there is a precedence, fine. If there's no precedence, um, we would all have to interrogate as to why this become international transaction. And I don't have any particular p p p position for or against uh, what you are saying. I only want, in, on the face of the facts available, speak. Um, Parliament is available, I, and if they would call the minister to come and make any make documents available to question statements or whatever that would make all of us have privy to all this. And they will speak to the records and be uh, more, 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 more making sense to the public. I'll, I'll be excited about that. But um, for now, um, I, I don't know what to say much. I mean, because uh, what documents do they have? I mean, what do, we, do they have the, the, the person who had the Sputnik contract? Did he um, partner with a local company? Um, did the local co company... Um, go and make um, the agreement. Right. Um, was the person who was the, the foreign element, was he a partner of the company? Was the money coming from um, foreign sources? There are a lot of questions that Supreme Court raised on some of the issues, but like I said, um, my colleagues brought this issue about two weeks ago. I, I, I would have thought that without politics, they probably more would have um, invited the minister for about two weeks now. So, um, some of these issues would have been cleared, you know, but to run to the public to make um, a case when 
you have a speaker who preside over uh, our our day, day running of our our session or our sitting. And I have confidence in, in Parliament, and they should have confidence in the speaker. So I'm, I'm surprised they will not use any of the methods available in Parliament to to get every information you have and then come back to the public and make a discourse so the public will judge. But to run first to the public on this issue, I, I don't know whether politics or pure gains for, I don't know, really, I'm confused. So right. you help me out. Anyway, so you, you want them to haul the health minister to parliament to answer these concerns. But one other issue that they, they challenge, which you have put out there, the health minister has put out there, the foreign affairs minister has also complimented that position. It's about the inability of government to deal with the Russian government directly. They say that per their checks, that's not true because the Russian government has been able to deal with other over 30 other governments directly. The second point is that the narrative that the deputy Russian ambassador... Yeah, I mean, there are, there are two sides of any issue. So yes. if, they are not, if, if they are saying that it's not true, they should have to provide the evidence of why they are saying that it's not true. If the Russian government are saying that, did they make any such inf information available, evidence of transactions or information or communication available to you? If I'll be very much happy, you can, you can send them to me. I can also make my cross checks from the, the executive, the foreign affairs, and the Ministry of Health. And then I'll be very much happy you call me again tomorrow to speak on issues which are, 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 are germane in terms of the fact that we have, we'll, we'll add currency if, if it's not hearsay. I, I don't want to add to speculation. If they are saying that one side is not true, what do they have that make theirs very true? But was there any meeting uh, between yourself and someone you describe as the deputy Russian ambassador who has been engaged to support a process to procure the Sputnik vaccine? Was there vaccine? any meeting? Please, your voice is very far. I'm asking was if... Was there any meeting between... You and a... If I say you, I'm talking about government and the one that you describe as a deputy Russian ambassador. Uh, yeah, yeah, my, my brother, I would, I would be very happy if, uh, like I said... I didn't dispute what they said. If you listen to me carefully, I was interested in what evidence available. Maybe from what you have seen, they're going to have meetings with a deputy Russian ambassador or whoever did that. For me, I am responding because I'm the chairman of the health committee. My responsibility is to do government business. And then if the minority speak and you approach me like you did, I can speak on the issue. Now, for issues of meeting between the executive, which is the Minister of Health or the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Russia ambassador, that one, I, it is not in, in, my, in my area. That one is for them to answer. So I, I, I can't answer for that because I don't know when they call for an appointment. I don't know what meeting they have had. In, really, I can't answer to that point. Okay. But in terms of what they are saying, that um, it's, not, it's not middlemen or... Russian government could have dealt with Ghana, um, they would have to let us know what evidence that is, whatever, they should state clearly. Also, they are the same people who said that, oh, um, people can get vaccines under $10. And um, the presidential advisor on um, COVID, Dr. Siansari, challenged them if they can come the next day to bring any businessman who can do that. And government is willing and so glad for the businessman to help Ghanaian. So far, after two weeks, they've not been able to send any businessman there. So I, I would be careful with doing politics on this health issue, seriously. And I would so much discount what they are saying. I, I would give it the necessary capitals it deserves. When they can come to parliament and ask the speaker, have confidence in the speaker, I, it appears they don't have confidence in the speaker, which I do have confidence in him and our processes, okay. so that they, they, can, they, can, they can have whatever inquiry and ask for them to bring all documents and on the face of the documents, then we'll come out there and make a discussion. Okay. You know, and so to me now it's more about ESA and playing to the salary. Well, but what was the committee, the health committee briefed of any meeting by the executive between the deputy Russian ambassador and government? No, we, we are not aware of that. Okay. If they are aware, then I'm not right. aware of that. Okay. Doctor, are you a free year? Thank you. Thank you. For your time this evening he is the chair of parliament's health committee responding to some of the issues that the minority put out there we'll stay on this in our subsequent bulletin stay with us here